Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we are here today in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to hear the words of God. All your words of God are spirit of life. Nothing but the truth, Lord. Lord, give us spirit of wisdom and um, revelation and open our eyes of understanding so that we may be able to understand your words, Lord. Before we receive your words, Lord, cleanse our brain, cleanse our thought in our brain, cleanse our imagination in our soul, cleanse our heart, Lord, with the precious blood of Christ Jesus, to make our heart as a good soil, Lord. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, let me read the book of Psalm, chapter 37, verse 1 through 20, okay? Afraid not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as green herb. Trust in the Lord, and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be young. Thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the just, and groans upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bounds shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs they shall consume into smoke shall they consume away. All right. Yeah, let me read um, scripture related to today's sermon, okay? Also, book of Psalm, chapter 2. Listen very carefully, okay? These things are happening these days. Psalm, chapter 2, verse 1 through 12. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The king of the earth set themselves 
and the rulers make counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sits in heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in the horizon. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will decree. Declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy position. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise. Now therefore, O you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Amen. Amen. Now today, you're going to hear about the earth. Now in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, right? Today, we focus on the earth. Only one earth, right? created by God in the beginning. And today is a very important time, opportunity for you to understand why God created the earth long time ago. You must have reason why. And um, what kind of relationship, what kind of relationship, you know, we are related to with um, relate to uh, the earth. Yeah, we are living right now, right? We are living. We we are living in the earth right now. The why God has created this earth a long time ago. Listen very carefully. Then you pray, and you cleanse your soul and spirit, your heart. Then. You shall understand the words of God. If not, the devil take away all the words of God from your heart, okay? Be careful. Devil is thief. Thief is the one who steal, right? Yeah, devil steals the words of God. All right. Today's theme is the earth is given as inheritance for the people of Israel. And um, for the soldier of Christ, soldier of Christ that belong to the church of God. The soldier must be soldier, okay? Gonna have a reigning power in this earth when Jesus come back. Related to the earth, right? King Solomon, who received the wisdom of God, testified in his book of Ecclesiastes, saying, One generation passes away, and another generation comes, but the earth abides forever. Earth abides forever, okay? Not destroyed at all. The prophet Isaiah also testified of God's word that the earth would be forever. He said, For thou says the Lord that created the heavens, heavens, God himself deformed the earth and made it. He hath established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. 
I am the Lord, and there is none else. It's the voice of the Lord God. That's the truth. King David also testified about the purpose of God creating the earth. He said, The heaven, even the heavens, are the laws, but the earth has been given to the children of man. You are man, right? Man and woman say man. One of the most important things we need to know is that when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back and judges the world and builds his kingdom on the earth, he will inherit the earth unto the remnant of Israel. Remnant of Israel means, you know, these days you know, almost the people of Israel not believe in Jesus Christ, but they must say, but when they enter the great tribulation, at the end of the tribulation, Jesus will appear in the earth. When they see Jesus, they finally understand they killed God. They didn't know God became a man in the name of Jesus Christ. They finally understand. They repent. They receive the Lord Jesus at the time. It is called the remnant of Israel. It is necessary to realize what kind of sovereignty the soldiers of Christ shall receive. Yes, many people go to church, nominal churchgoer, religious people, they are not the Christ, soldiers of Christ. Why the soldiers of Christ? First of all, they will repent, to receive Jesus Christ all heart, to receive the Holy Spirit, they born again, born again, by the Holy Spirit to be totally brand new, new creature. After that, following Jesus, denying himself, herself, and take up the cross and follow Jesus, just like Jesus, okay? Yes, they called soldier of Christ a soldier is the one who fight, right, against the devil. But it's the way to fight against the devil is to preach the gospel, to deliver many souls from the hands of the devil. The nations of the world who do not know God's plan for the earth are persecuting the people of Israel and also the soldiers Christ in the church of God. The psalmist prophesied. Why do the heathen rage? Heathen means in all gentilation, all the nations people, and the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth, including presidents, right? Things of the earth set themselves and the rulers take a counsel together against the Lord and against He's anointed, what well, he's anointed, Jesus Christ, against him. Let us break their hands asunder and cast away their cores from us. Yeah, you know, they try to break the church of God, break the people of Israel. That's the way to break the anointed Jesus Christ, God. All the rulers of the world for 6,000 years since the Adam giving up the reigning power of this world to the devil when he sinned are still doing a divine thing and God is speaking to them. He that sits in, in the heavens shall laugh. God is laughing in heaven, you know, upon seeing all the people of the world. The Lord shall have them in derision. The then shall he speak unto them. Then he shall be, he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. 
the king one, Jesus Christ, his coming as king of a king, Lord of lords. Finally, God said that in the, in the future, his only begotten son will be born in the form of man and will judge all nations and become the king of kings and lord of lords. Listen very carefully. God said, okay, towards all the nations people, I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, that is Jesus. This day have I begotten thee. That's what Jesus called only begotten son. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the hidden for thine inheritance. That means when, when Jesus come back, all the nation's people belong to him. And the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Jesus will take over the earth from the hands of the devil. Because he paid all sin of the world. And he overcome the power of death. Devil has the power of sin and death, but Jesus, you know, overcome on the cross and through resurrection. Continue saying, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Yeah. When Jesus come back, somebody sin, they shall be killed with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. God has said many times that he will give this earth to the people of Israel as inheritance. Let me take some example. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while the wicked shall not be, yeah? thou shalt diligently consider his fair place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. For such as be blessed over him shall inherit the earth and they that be cursed over him and shall be cut off. And he spoken to people of Israel, okay? In the midst of great tribulation under Antichrist, okay? Finally, the Incarnate Jesus, God became a man, the Jesus, right? Came to Jerusalem, Zion, as God said, right? And said again to the Jews, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is their kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. That's the earth where we are living. The kingdom of heaven, Jesus spoke, is not of heaven itself. When he came, the king of the Jews, he said that heavenly kingdom in the earth, that is the millennium kingdom of Christ, will be established, and the remnant of Israel shall inherit the earth. John the Baptist and Jesus said, Repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. When the king of the Jews came to the land of Judea, Land of Israel, the kingdom of heaven, came upon the land of Israel, but they rejected king, right? However, most of the people still in the conspiracy of Satan, trying to keep his kingdom for eternity, are still seeking vain work in order to remove the people of Israel from God's promised land, you know, spoken to Abraham you know, from uh, Great River Euphrates down to a river of Egypt, you know, River Nile River, right? Total Palestine. They're united, okay? To cast the people of Israel from the land, the promised land. The Holy Spirit led the psalmist Asaph to pray to God a long time ago. I listen very carefully about, you know, almost 3,000 years ago, a man named uh, Asaph. He just prayed 
and looking toward these days that's happening against Israel in the United Nations. Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against the, thy people, thy people means the you know, people of Israel, and consulted together thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacle of Edom and the Ishmaelite are Moab and the Hagarins, Gebal and the Ammon, Amalek, Philistines with the inhabitants of Terror, Asur, Asur is Syria, Asur also joined with them, how much Syria people against you know, Israel these days. They have helped uh, the children of Lot, Shalah. You know, Shalah means, you know, whenever they pray in the Great Tribulation, they also say Shalah, Shalah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kisan. Yeah, those people, you know, totally destroyed by God's hands. God sent a warning message to the nations that are against the will of God for Israel. Be wise now, therefore, all your kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Christians who became members of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ to become children of God by being saved by believing in the gospel of Christ, whether they are the Jews or Gentiles, become Christ's bride and become the one body with him. Therefore, after he appears in the air to lift his church up into heaven, that means in a rapture, right? The saints, the children of God, shall come down with Jesus Christ when he appeared on the earth again at the end of the great tribulation to judge the world as the king of kings and lord of laws. Apostle John testified what he saw. And the armies, armies means, you know, soldiers of Christ, armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen in a white clean. Apostle Paul testified about the soldiers of Christ. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that worrieth entangles himself with the affair of his, this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for mysteries, yet is he not crowned, except he drive lawfully. It is faithful, saying, For if we be dead with them, we shall also live with them. If we suffer, that means we suffer for the Christ, right? We shall also reign with him. That means in his kingdom in the future. If we are deny him, he also deny us. If we believe not, yet he abides faithful, he cannot deny himself. Yet the remnant of the Jews shall inherit the earth, but the Christian, only Christian, that a soldier of Christ shall receive the great blessing of inheriting heaven and earth as the joint heir with Jesus Christ, as well as reigning the earth with the Lord 
Jesus, and one body helping Christ, ruling heaven and earth. Double blessing. They are also blessed to dwell with him forever in the new Jerusalem. Apostle Paul wrote a letter of blessing to Christians in Rome under Caesar Nero. He just killed you know, many Christians at the time who overcome the severe persecution in the Roman Empire at the time. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. Because, you know, pride of Christ. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this person, present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Today, I encourage you to think about, you know, who are persecuting, persecuted, being persecuted, for example, in North Korean Christians and many countries under communist and also under Muslim, Islam, and so on. Why? They never give up because they're not going to miss inheritance given by Jesus Christ. And unfortunately, you know, Many Christians are living in a Western country, including Korea. I don't know how many percentage Christian is a soldier of Christ, suffering for the sake of Jesus Christ to do his ministry. Think about that. Time is not long left. It's end time. You might make decision what kind of life You're going to do a new year. Want to be a churchgoer? Or to be Christ, a soldier of Christ? It's upon you, your choice. That's right. If we suffer, we shall reign with Christ when he come back to the earth in his kingdom. If not, he will deny us. I encourage you to be blessed in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.